Welcome back in. It's early, but the Hoover Bucks are finding themselves in an unusual position, a losing record, trying to get back to 500 and taking on Oak Grove and Hattiesburg, Mississippi. This one, a great game, picking it up in the second. Hoover down seven until Noah Schubach finds Christopher Warren. This one's now tied at 14 to the third. Hoover drive capped off by a Jonah Winston, the brother of Jameis Winston, touchdown run, 21 all. Time to go to OT. Oak Grove gets the ball first, and they're going to impressively score after they celebrate right here. It's a play from 13 yards out, and they're going to score. So now it's Hoover's turn. If they do not convert here, then they're 0-2 to start the year. Last chance for the Hoover Bucks. Schubach feels the pressure, gets rid of it, but they're going to come up short. So that means Oak Grove takes down Hoover 28 to 21 in OT. The Bucks 0-2 taken on well. Spain Park next Friday night. Spain Park, speaking of them, trying to win their second straight game. Spain Park could be 2-0, taking on Briarwood Christian. This one, all Jags in the first. Derek Shanks finds the end zone here, stretches the lead 27-0. Cheerleaders, they're feeling it in this one on a Friday night. Now the third, Briarwood finally getting something going, but not enough. The Jags killing the momentum. Raymond Bridgman picks off in the end zone there. And the final score, Spain Park 2-0. How about that, Coach Fakakis? A big one over Briarwood Christian. We're going to go out to Chelsea and Kalira, both teams, looking for their first win early in the first. And the cheerleaders toughing out the rain right now. Emerson Russell goes left, makes a cut, zips through a 7-zip Hornet score. The student section getting creative, and they love it. Later in the first, Russell again gets outside the tackles. Look at those 60 yards. How about that? Find some pay dirt. And 14-0 Chelsea, the final in this one. All Chelsea as they beat Clear 38-24. to Hewitt Trussell trying to get a win on their record. They lost last week, taking on Gadsden City. Out to Etowah County we go. We'll start this one in the first quarter. Titan running back, it's TJ Worley. Remember the name because he's going to be mobile, agile, and hostile in this one. 45 yards to the house, 7-0 Titans up in the first cut. Hewitt Trust were one of the best teams in 7A, coached by Josh Floyd. His son is Peyton Floyd, and he's the quarterback, and he's pretty good. Rolling out, finding Jacob Serena, eight yards out for a touchdown tie game. Floyd not done yet. This time, he's going to step back and find, not the student section, but his receiver, it's Jay Loving, for 38 yards right when he gets hit. Huskies lead this one 14-10 at half, and the final score in this one, Hewitt Trustful shows up when they needed that win, 42 to 27. Just down the road, Etowah feeling Fort Payne and second half, Wildcats leading the score 47-13. Etowah though, not giving up. Jameson adds it in the beat down end. It's gonna be Bodie Bennett this time. So going back and forth, but up big, 47 to 19. And the Etowah team is trying to go back and forth in this one. The handoff right here, it's going to be a touchdown. The final in this one, Fort Payne, a big, big win, 54 to 26, the final. A matchup of 1-0 teams of Blunt County, it's Locust Fort and Pennington. A run out right there by Locust Fort. First quarter, they're up and they want more. Jacob Boatwright makes the catch, and now he's going to get some more yak. Yards after catch is what that stands for, and that's the house. 50 yards, Locust Fort up, 14 to nothing in the first quarter and the cheerleaders in the rain loving it ensuing kickoff we don't show a lot of kickoffs but there's a reason for that because that means josiah covert is going to take this one all the way cuts the lead to 14 to 6 but is it enough it is not 42 20 locust fort wins this one susan moore shining up in the bowling shoe now last week they turned into a pair of jordans look at that a little uh a little fun my producer's having with the teleprompter. Third quarter, Susan Moore leads the West End 13-6. It's going to be a good run in right there for the score. The final in this one, it was a close one, but not enough. 33-6, to six, Susan Moore over West End. Some more scores to get to you on high school huddle. Montevallo, big win, 13-10. And Pelham over Oak Mountain, 24-21. to 21. Some more scores on a Friday rainy night. Jackson Owen trails to the Tigers 35-8 and the Moody Blue Devils 31-17.
All right, Vestavia Hills Marching Band is our band of the week. They played a lot tonight, and it was an impressive one. Each week, we'll have a different high school band for our band of the week. Now it's time for our Play of the Week nominees. You decide which play. You'll see a QR code on your screen. Pop it up with your phone and scan the cash or vote. Let's get right to it. Up first, Tuscaloosa County, Janarius Hutchkins. Not one, but two touchdowns. This one, 66 yards. You want to vote for that one? Scan the QR code. Play number two, Clay Chalkville. We slowed this one down for you. Xavier Starks, look at this takeaway. It looks like a catch, but it's an interception. And Clay Chalkville, you want that as your play of the week? Scan, voting goes until Monday. And it's American Christian with play number three. Kai Young scrambles and finds Caleb Morrison, not one, but two feet in for an NFL touchdown. You can vote on the play of the week that you want on our free WVTM 13 app. Just click the drop down menu, you'll see high school huddle page. They have a chance to vote. We'll announce it Monday night. Week 